Hi there, I'm Cadence Kidwell. I'm gonna show you another new pop-up that we have going on right now. Mary from 29 Bridges in Maryland has sent us some beautiful yarns and 29 Bridges is another favorite of ours. We're so fortunate to have these dyers that trust us with their yarns and let us uh, show them off, uh, sell them to you all, and then what we don't have um, going to new homes, we send back, but with Mary, uh, we hardly ever send anything back. And I'm wearing a project of hers um, that I started from our last group. Elaine finished this up for me. This is the Chevron Cloud, and this is 29 Bridges Sock and the Surrey Silk. So I'll be telling you more about that in a minute, but I just love this orange. It's just making me so happy. Um, okay, so let me show you. We have three bases. We have uh, Merino DK, we have Go To Sock, and we have Surrey Silk, all from Mary at 29 Bridges and lots of great samples to show you. The first one I wanna show you here is this, I'm a, and I do not know how to pronounce this, but it is on our website, is the um, Abbey Abydos Top. And it has some Surrey silk up here at the at the top and these really great ridges. Isn't this sweet? Um, lots of really pretty color combinations on the um, Ravelry page, including ones that are uh, using different colors. So in this case, um, Mary knit this all in the same color with the DK and with the Surrey silk, but you could do it in different colors. And so let's look at some combos here. Let's play with the yarn. All right, so a uh, color combo that would be really pretty for that top would be this aubergine and inia. That would be really lovely. And let me show you another pattern that uses, well, actually, I'm going to show you before we start pairing any more, we have two other patterns I'm going to show you that use these same two yarns together so that we can be thinking about those all at the same time. This is Melissa's promenade blouse. And I have, um, thank you, Renee, for the orange compliment. Um, we have all the links for these patterns online. The promenade blouse has been really popular. Melissa did this with DK and a Surrey silk. So we'll look at combos for that as we go through. Again, this would be really lovely in that. Um, so that's the promenade blouse. And another pattern that uses both is my newly released Who'll Stop the Rain, which is a cowl and a snood. I love a good snood. I like a opportunity to pull something over my head and make like a little hood when I need to. And it uses um, 29 Bridges, Surrey Silk, and a DK also. So that pattern link is on there as well. That makes a shoulder cozy, a cowl, or a, um, or a hood, like a snood. Okay, so let's look at some colors. These two would be lovely. Um, I love this blue, and we have some different options for the blue. There is, uh, this is Curacao, and then this is Sentimental. So you could do something uh, blues, but this one would be a little bit, adding a little bit of pops in there with the different color. Or you could do it in uh, Tahoe and Curacao, which are two very similar blues that would would be lovely and if you really wanted to do um tahoe and tahoe you could put those two together and make something monochromatic like the adios top is up there only in blue uh let's see let's see what else we can put together here oh this is so much fun i only wish you were here with me so i could do this along uh, you could do orange oh my gosh we have the orange that I'm wearing, which is Flaming June in the DK and the Surrey Silk. What I'm wearing is the go-to sock and the Surrey Silk. This is such a happy orange. It's like a tangerine, just feels like summer. Uh, what else? We have the super vibrant Dream, and you could use Dream together like that. Now, what else could you do with Dream? I want to show you this. We knit our shop sample of uh, Build Those Bridges. This is Dream. And we used a different yarn for that base, for the solid, but uh, 
29 Bridges Prue would really give you one almost identical. So this is 29 Bridges DK. This is Dream. And this is Prue. And what I like about this pattern here, Build Those Bridges, it's another one that I wrote, um, is I wanted to have a pattern because we get asked a lot, like, what do I do with a highly variegated speckled yarn? And this is a good example of that because you get those little dots in there. And then the other places you get the solid dots to pop up, but then you get these stripes. And so this just keeps that highly variegated yarn moving through there. All right. So let's see. That's build those bridges. And I showed you dream and prue. What else have we got up here? We have, this one is one of my favorites, partly sunny. And you could put partly sunny with, um, if you wanted to put it with a Surrey. Oh, what if you put the partly sunny with the little miss sunshine to draw out those yellows? Ooh, that would be so pretty. Now, maybe you're not looking for two different colors. So we have a couple options for you over here. This one is Crescent City. This is one full skein of a DK. So you could get that highly variegated yarn. You could get this one here, Mahonia. And this is a, it's a big needle. It's a size 11 needle. So you can get a really big, uh, respectable size shawl out of one skein. And then it has what I call the fancy stitch here, but we have a video tutorial on how to do that there. So we've got, uh, so this is a one skein that you could do, but maybe you also want to do a sweater. I loved doing this DK sweater here. This is the Terra Nova pullover. And what I love about it is this uh, split hem down here and also this braid in the seam that made going around much more interesting. And then the braid comes up around here and around the arms. It was lovely to knit. And so you could do that in, I wouldn't use a highly variegated yarn for that, but let me show you some of these. Maybe I might, I might try this one because you know me, I like to push that envelope. So you could do that with Prue and we have six skeins. So we have enough for a sweater quantity. Um, all the skeins are $38 and this, I didn't tell you the fiber content. This is hundred percent superwash Merino. Uh, this color here is aubergine, which is close to this, which would be lovely, lovely. This one here is carbon, which is a really pretty gray. Grays and blacks are hard to do and not do muddy. Um, let me just lay these down over here cause I want to show you one other lighter color that you might, oh, I got to show you both of these. Uh, this one, oh, that is aubergine. I just showed you that. Um, <laughs> this one is Venus, slightest, palest pink. But if you wanted to use a little bit of speckle, I think you could try cider. Um, it might hide your braid a little bit more than you want for all that work, but not too much. So it's the kind of thing I would definitely try. So that's the DK. And the different samples for the DK. Oh, no, I got one more sample to show you. Melissa, I had Melissa bring in her Soldatna because it uses many different colors of a DK. And we have so many pretty ones here. So you could, let's put together a couple Soldatnas. And I should have seen how many colors are in this. I think it's four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. So we could do kind of a, let's do like aubergine and Venus. And then you could pop it up with Prue. You could put that in there. And then I'm going to want like a speckled. Melissa has like a speckled in there. So you could do, you could do dream. Oh, this is dream. Or you could do Mahonia and make that. That would be really pretty. We can do this all day long. So if you uh, also want to text us some options and where you want to start with color at 229-236-GOAT, we can help you do that. We can keep putting colors together because like we could do an orange one with uh, Flaming June and Cider and the Aubergine in there to brighten, I mean, to kind of make some contrast. And then what else would we put in there? Maybe partly sunny. Put those together. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Back to work. I mean, that is kind of 
the purpose of the job. But I do want to show you the other ones, the go-to sock. So go-to sock, uh, we have the widest range of here. I don't know if you can see here, we've got this whole row here and then another whole row back there of the go-to sock. And I've got lots of samples for that. So I'm just going to kind of twist a little bit so you can see my other samples going this way. This is the Tegna that Mary knit in go-to sock. Isn't that pretty with the lace? We had one knit in linen, and I forget that the pattern was originally uh, designed for a merino, a fingering merino. And it just has this lovely detail across the bottom. And it's knit bottom up so that you do that lace that way. And we have lots of options for that. You could do it in a lovely storm. You could do that um, if you wanted a darker gray. Spin a little bit this way. You could do uh, carbon again. But I'm going to show you Madeline's newest favorite color. She's knitting a cardigan in front row. In fact, she's knitting a cardigan holding these two together. And she has the sweetest pink buttons that we also have in the store that she's going to put on that cardigan. We hope to see it soon. I think she's, she might be in her second sleeve. I'm not sure. Um, so a Tegna in front row. Oh, that would be just stunning. All right. So we have Tegna. You can also hold two or not hold two together, but use two different colors. This is uh, Westbourne, Isabel Kramer's Westbourne. And I used a 29 Bridges color for my stripe. You don't have to use a mohair. I did. And so you could use two fingerings for that, or you could use a fingering and a mohair. And, uh, and that's Westbourne. So let's see, like you could do the Westbourne as a gray in, with the storm. Let me twirl that just a little bit so you can see that at the same time with a, a oh yes you could do it with storm and then pink stripes or you could do um east end with kind of like a pink and gray and black stripes that would be really cool looking all right i have to put all these back in their own order later on and one other sweater i'll show you here and then we'll get to some more accessories is just Thank goodness for our little, our little ladies here that we have to help us out is the rocket tee. And so Mary of 29 Bridges knit the rocket tee and she used, um, the sock and the Surrey silk. And this particular size is just one skein of each. So depending on your size, you might need more. I know that I would. And so you could also pair that up with two fingerings. Or, um, oh, look, here we go with our yellows. But you could also use a Surrey silk, also like um, you could use um, Curacao with that. I just keep going to this sentimental. It's really pretty. Um, but you can also, this gray here is lovely. This is called furlough, and it's a gray with teals in it. Mary just does such an amazing job of, of layering and making really what's like complicated, deep colors. This furlough goes beautiful with carbon. So those are some that you could put together for the rocket tee. Now let me show you an accessory in fingering. This one is crocheted. This one is the juniper cowl and it uses, is it three skeins? One, two, three. Oh, it's four skeins. Yeah, oh, there you go. I should have unrolled it. Then you could have seen. It's four skeins. Um, I think you could probably even do this in three if you wanted it a little bit shorter. And so this is crocheted, and we have the link to that pattern there. But with that go-to sock, just look how nicely it lays there. It's just got that little bit of nylon in it that really kind of helps with the drape. It has 25% nylon, 463 yards. That's a very generous skein. So more sizes may actually make be able to make that in one skein each. This is a, a fan popular pattern from um, Susan knit this. This is Tammy Gore's Drifter, and it is also two skeins of DK. I mean, sorry, two skeins of fingering. So one is speckled and one is not. So you could use uh, Pietersite. I'm not sure how to pronounce that exactly. 
um, which would go lovely with, let's see, I'm going to put that also with the Curacao. That would be really nice. If you wanted something a little brighter, you could go with the um, sea glass and the hot metal, still in the gray family, but a little bit lighter. If you want to go even lighter than that, you can go with the cider and the um, Little Miss Sunshine would be a really bright, nice drifter that we got going there. Uh, let's see what other samples that I have. I was so excited. I didn't have to wave a single piece of paper at you. We actually had physical samples to show you to go with these. Um, okay, so the only thing I didn't bring over here to show you is, and I won't go run off camera right now, is Birds of a Feather, which uses also one skein, but we have, we'll have the link up there. And we have modifications if you buy the yarn to do it with uh, one skein of fingering and one skein of um, uh, Surrey silk, birds of a feather. Um, and then what I'm wearing is Chevron Cloud and by my friends at um, Le Mans. Oh, I'm going to forget how to say that. Um, she's up in um, Quebec. Um, Le Montagne Rouge, I think. Anyway, she wrote this beautiful pattern and it's very adjustable. Now mine has a little bit of adjustment to make it a little bit narrower, but you could go even narrower. And we used two skeins of the Surrey silk so that we could get all the way through one skein of this, but you can see it's quite long. So you could make it narrower and shorter and use one skein of each. And it's just like wearing a cloud. It's named Chevron Cloud, and it's just beautiful. It's going to be warm here today, and I'm not going to be warm in this because it's just light and airy, and I just feel like I'm wearing like a tangerine around my neck. And But just look at all these. I just have to show you this Tegna again. And we do have some new French market skirts, so this is on here with the... Um, yes, Arba, we can help you with uh, putting together some kits that are uh, some beginner scarves. And so we've got this little French tux in there, but I just think that that would be really cute over my favorite jeans as well. Excellent. So let us know if we can help you put together some 29 bridges uh, combos. We have uh, Mary's yarn here for a few weeks, and then we have to send it back. Hopefully we're not sending her anything back, but samples, which is how it went last time. And uh, we just don't want to disappoint. So we're super excited to share this with you and uh, love to help you out. And so just let us know. Yes, this orange really is pretty, isn't it, Amy? I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys.